All right, family, it's Essie the Homesteader out here getting some collard greens today. I hope everybody is having a great Tuesday. So I said, let me get out here and harvest some greens. I know I've been late with harvesting and stuff because I didn't do a lot of cooking over the days. But um, this time what I'm going to try to do is a, just a, a pluck method, what they call it, cut, come, uh, cut, come again. But last year... I was just chopping the whole stem off. But this year I said, well, let me try this method and hopefully I can um, have a, a longer growing season and continue to harvest these like I did last year. But last year I had a great season when it came to collard greens. I harvested probably, I think all the way up to, sure, I think April, maybe March. I know it was a long season. I was eating greens all winter, uh, and coming into that spring so I said let me start over here with this bush because this bush is one of the first ones that I planted here and over there and just work my way around I don't know if I'm gonna mess with the purple pot just yet because they're still growing they're not as big but it's, it's a lot over there and also my son is like, Ma, when you gonna make some collard greens? Cause I can eat, I can cook greens pretty much like every day. Um, but yeah, you guys make sure y'all drop me a line and let me know how you guys collards are doing. And today is a beautiful day. It's probably like in the 60s today. So I did get a lot of yard work done today. I pruned back my trees, which I should have did a video. I still had some leaves on some of the fruit trees out there, the multi grafted, but I just went around sterilize my little pruners I don't know if it's a myth or what um, and just sip um, snip them on that angle like they recommend you snip your uh, things on that angle so that's what I did and I did also prep my area in the greenhouse to get ready to up hot the fruit trees so what I'm trying to do is let the fruit trees um, get a little bit dried out because they do have a lot of moisture in them because I did water them I think last week so they still have a lot of moisture in them that way if they dry out I could just pull them out with no problem as far as you know pulling the whole thing out of the um, pots but yeah I'm gonna cook some greens tonight I don't know with what though because I could eat greens by themselves Okay. So yeah, you guys drop me a line and let me know what kind of collards you're growing. I think these are my Georgia collards. And I think I have Yates over there in the purple grow pot. But since this, these was doing so well on this end, I said, well, let me start with this end. And then on the other side of the raised bed, they're big over there too. This will make a nice pot. But again, collars don't last in my house. All right. Let's see if I can work my way over here. I think you guys might be able to see me over there. Well, I tell you what. What I'll do is get them from the other side of the raised bed area. All right, so that is from one raised bed. Y'all know how greens be looking like a lot, but then they cook down. So hopefully these, hopefully these will continue to grow and I could come out and harvest these again on this side. big one and on on the other side they just going crazy so what I'm gonna do is probably go to the other side and I'm gonna let the kale in this raised bed and the collards 
and then in a purple pot I'm gonna let those continue to grow get a little bit bigger and the kale looks so good over there I got some purple kale over there as well so I'm gonna let those get a little bit bigger and probably next week I'll come out and harvest those but I think I'm gonna go to this side because this side is very overgrown as well when it comes to the collards so I'm gonna get over here and harvest some more of the collards over there but that's not too bad for uh, one raised bed and you guys wish me luck hopefully these will come back and give me some more harvest but um yeah you guys drop me a line let me know what kind of collars you guys is growing and if you're still harvesting or um yeah i think i'm gonna be eating a lot of collars because there's some in there the greenhouse as well some spinach some kale and some collars in there as well but yeah i think i'll be eating collars all the way up into the spring again but yeah, you guys, so this is Effie the Homesteader. Thank you for watching my channel. I thank all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. Thank you for watching my channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed my content. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.